what's up you guys so uh i'm back at you with another video today's been a long day um so before i get started we're gonna go ahead and mix up a drink here today no green tea just the twist with some water So, you guys know that this uh, hurricane going through here, it's uh, not close to the house, but we're getting the, the kind of little bit that's coming off of it. So, yeah, I had to take the kids to school this morning. In other words, uh, we don't have to be at work until 8 o'clock. I'm usually there at 6.50, 7 o'clock. I didn't get to work today until almost 10 o'clock. And then had to drive towards Savannah, Georgia, which is around towards the coast almost. Mm, I'm sorry. So I got sweet potato fries with cheese on it. I know, it's not healthy. It's one of those days today. I care, but I don't. I, I, I care, I care, I do. But I'll figure a way to bring this off. Mm -hmm. And in here, you may be asking, um, it's tomato sauce, turkey meat, with some basil in it, oregano. And then inside of it are pieces of shrimp and carrots and a little bit of vegetable medley. And, and here's going to be ketchup. kids are home today they got off early and they don't have school tomorrow i'm assuming because it's going to get bad and i mean if i didn't have to take the kids to school i still would have been fighting my way to get to work because all the streets were flooded i mean I drive a truck. The company gives me a company truck. So. I drive a GMC. Long bed single cab truck. It's a newer model. And. It fought to get through there. Traction control was cutting on and stuff. And I wasn't even going that fast. It was just. Like coming down the road in my neighborhood. Where the water was coming in the streets because the ditches was filled up. I would have like, like, look like a jet ski coming through there because it just. So, so if you're asking Joker, how big? But yeah. Welcome to my new subscriber. I think they said I picked up new subscriber this month. Just one. Okay. I guess that's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Stuff's crazy. I've been munching on some uh, Walmart Great Value brand cocoa dusted almonds and um, like some pretzel sticks. 
today. So this right here would like me to first thing. I'm telling you, I got up at 5.30 this morning. And my wife's like, you know, hey, you know, my job, I mean, in a way, they don't have to look over their shoulder and guide me. I come into work. I go into the shop. I see what's being made, what needs to be taken out, and I'll take it. They don't even have to call me and let me know anything. I'll just go ahead and take care of it. So, with that in mind, I kind of, kind of in a way, just do whatever I want to do. And it's fine because um, I'll get it done. But, Always before I leave. So let's just put it this way. If I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Or if I make it there at like 6 or 5. You know I'll work until 2, 3 o'clock. To get you know 8 whatever. 8 hours. And that, that'll give me time to get home before 3 o'clock. So I got up at 5.30 this morning. Got everybody up. Um, make sure everybody you know does what they have to do. You know, take their allergy medicines and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then me and the wife were out. But she was like, can you? I'm going to need you to take my baby to the bus stop. Because he can't stand out in this. Now, I didn't know how bad it was. I was like, well, he's got an umbrella. But yeah, I can do that, I guess. Because as far as I know of, I got to go, you know, towards Savannah, Georgia. But our machine was giving us problems and wasn't working, so I don't know what they finished or they happened to finish it. Mm. So, yeah, I got to work probably about 945 And I was able to get off by 4.22, I think it was. No lunch break. Which I do delivery, so. And for the ones that don't know, now you know. I am a, a heat and air delivery man. I mean, I can do other things, too. I've been out in the field. I can do mechanic work. I can do the... Put the duct work together. I know how to hang it and all that. And duct seal it. And, you know, in these big buildings like Five Below. And Pizza Huts. And, you know. Things like that. So, yeah, by the time... <laughs> His bus gets supposed to be here at 7.30. Which I know as bad as it was storming this morning. That wasn't happening. So, we went up to the bus stop. We was in the truck. We got to the top of the hill. <laughs> there was a bus coming in and stopped. So, I flickered the headlights at Oh, My kid got out. Ran and jumped on the bus, and I had the window down. I heard him go, hey, you're a little too small to be going to uh, high school, son. So I had to jump back in the truck. Sorry about that. I get interrupted. But I didn't let him know I was going to do a video either, so. My bad. Well, my hair's all messed up. So. But yeah, so I'm like, well, I'll take you to school. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do it in the truck. I'll take you in the car. Come back down, got in my car. 
took him to school by the time I dropped him off, the bottom dropped even more. I'm talking about it was like when you're driving and you see the rain falling and whatever hits the road, the wind started blowing it so it kind of looked wet but then you seen like a a light white kind of like wave where the wind was blowing it across the street it was it was bad this morning and uh so i'm like i gotta get the, the big boys to school but we was able to do it get it done and then on the way out I got a text from one of the boys said um we're getting off early and we don't have a key to get in so on the way out I had stopped back by the house drop off the key put it up text them let them know where it was at and head on out and I was about five miles to destination area and it, I thought it was bad here. I drive like a big 14 foot box truck. 14 foot, yeah. And <laughs> I was about five miles away from the job site and where it needed to be taken. And it just dropped and blew the truck all over the road. Tree limbs was falling off. Yeah, it was just. At that moment, I knew I should have just turned my ass around and went back. But I didn't. I kept going. And it ended up dying down. God's good. Because as soon as I got to that job site, it just started drizzling. And then it stopped for a minute. It stopped enough time for me to unload and get it into the Connex building. So whenever the technicians got ready to grab what they needed, it was in there. As soon as I closed my door and jumped back in the truck, it started raining again. <laughs> and for ones that go to long distance drives and stuff like that, or if you go out of town to have fun, is it just me? Or does it seem like it takes a good minute to get where you're going? But then on the way back it seems a lot shorter. I, I, it was like, because I got all the way up there, it took a couple of hours. And then on the way back, it was like I got back in town like it wasn't nothing. Which, I mean, of course, the storm slowed me down, but if that's like. Any of these places that I go to, like, it seems like, or if me and the family go out of town, like, we go to the beach. It takes a couple hours to get there. I live maybe two, two hours, maybe two and a half hours away from Savannah Beach. I live maybe an hour and a half two hours maybe the same from my house to Atlanta like right in the heart of Atlanta at the Atlanta Falcons you know football stadium you know just to kind of get you familiar with around that angle so But yeah, that's just, I don't know. So the wife's working late tonight. I hate it when she has to work late. For one, <clears throat> you know, when she works late and it's nasty and rainy outside and stuff like that, I worry about her because she can't hardly see at night. And, you know, when I say she works late, you know, she works like 16, 17 hours a day almost. Close to that, maybe. Maybe not that much, but close to it. But mm. 
So, you know, of course, tonight it's, you know, raining, supposedly. So I'm going to be a little worried because I don't, you know. You know, my wife, she's, she's small. So everything a normal person would be able to do in a car, you know, mm -mm. I love her to death. Um, her and my nephew was riding in the car. I think we was going to go take my car. I got a new uh, Honda Accord Coupe, <clears throat> like a sport. It's a two-door, and um, got the push button. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't drive nothing without a push button. Oh, that has to take a key. I don't know. I guess that's what... Pop star, I guess that's what Drake said in his verse, but anyways, I think everything nowadays is coming out with a push button, <clears throat> but anyways, I was driving, I was in front of him, and I looked behind me, we got a 2015 Chevy Malibu, really nice car, four door, you know, all I see is this much. <laughs> It looked like two kids and stole somebody's car. <laughs> so, yeah. Hungry. Nervous for that time to come. And, you know, her, she's... She's Miss Busybody, so she's constantly running around doing stuff at her job. You know, seeing people and stuff like that. And, um... Sometimes she'll think at the last minute. To call and I'll be sitting here wondering. So I'll call or text her. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm on the way home. I'm like. A part of me is like. You know, I need you to do that because I don't. I worry about you so. But whatever, if you don't think I am, that's fine. But I do worry about you. I don't want to, especially at late nights. Because with her car, she's got the key box, but she has to manually open up the door with the key. My car doesn't do that. It has like a thumbprint reader. And if you're holding the modular box to the, you know, the wireless box that goes to the car. If you got it on you and you touch the fingerprint thing, it recognizes you and it unlocks the door. Um, and it and it really does recognize your fingerprint because I try to open up the passenger and because I don't open up the passenger side, it wouldn't lock. I mean, unlock. But I go around to the driver's side and hit the button. And I put my finger on the button and it'll open up. It's a cat. You got to go on, Spooky. Come here. You want to be on camera? You ain't gonna eat it if I gave it to you. Oh my god. Well, people. That was pretty, uh. Out there, wasn't it? so addictive it's so good that right there if you guys have a chance to get that it might be at Costco but I know I get them from Sam's and it's like six dollars or something for like a 30 pack or 24 pack of them and you can't beat that with a stick I'm trying to tell you well I hope you guys enjoy this video if you woke up this morning you're blessed and you're worth it no matter what um Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to all my subscribers. Even my big top dogs out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I need to. 
I need to, you know, give a shout out because I know it's just only certain ones that I remember off bat. Miss Chastity, you know, props to you. She watches all the way through this. Um, she always, you know, she's always positive. Um, you know, so Miss Chastity, I appreciate you. Um, choose commenting. You know, he's he's been busy. He don't have to comment. He's busy with his own channel, you know. I appreciate you. Um, Ignited ASMR. Of course, Luke B. Grubbin. That's my big homie. Much props to him. <clears throat> you know, so. Uh, Eric Loudman. Uh, Travel Dude ASMR. Check him out. I just, I haven't had a chance to comment or anything. I just got my cables back going. See, he got a clean cut. Looking all slick and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, you guys have a good night. Have a blessed one. I wish nothing but positivity and blessings for all you out there. Because the Lord knows we all need as much as we can get. But he knows what we need and what we don't need. <laughs> so, you guys have a good one. Until next time, y'all hold it down.